Today I embarked on a rather interesting project. So this year's uh, somewhat early Christmas present was uh, UFO drums uh, trigger assembly so I could convert an old acoustic snare into an electronic snare. Um, and it took a little bit more work than what I was expecting it to, but the end result is a pretty nice looking snare that performs really well uh, with my Pearl Mimic. So, um, first of all, just to kind of give props to Mitch over at UFO Drums, the product that came was a good high quality product. It's made of a good solid steel. Um, it didn't feel you know, cheap or chintzy in any way. Um, everything about it came packaged well. It arrived on time, quickly. Um, and, you know, in the end, it works really well. So um, that part out of the way, I will say that there were a couple of things that I think could have been better about the experience. And a lot of it probably is my own problem um, in that I'm not super handy. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not an idiot either. And so there were a few things that were tough as far as the wiring to get them right. Um, and there were a couple of things where the drum that I was putting them in, it didn't really fit. So I had to make some physical modifications. Uh, fortunately, I had a Dremel tool around here. So I was able to carve a little bit out of the drum and a little bit out of the, uh, a little bit out of the trigger assembly. And I was able to get it to work in there really well, and it's extremely stable now, and it's uh, it's not going anyplace. So, um, all that said, what I had was a DW 13 by 5.5 inch snare. I used to love this thing. It was great as an acoustic drum, but I haven't played my acoustic drums in probably 10 years. And so it's been sitting on a shelf in the back of my basement. So... As much as I hate to take a really nice, you know, multi-layer uh, maple snare drum and make it an electronic drum, which really any drum could be, it's a good looking drum. It's got a lot of sentimental value to me and, you know, I, I think it works well with the kit. It's also a first experience. I might convert the rest of that kit as well. So here's a couple of things um, about that drum. So I'm going to... I'm going to show you overall. Here's the drum kit. So you can see from above, that's kind of what we're looking at right there. Um, so from, you know, now I have also over here this side snare, um, because that used to be my regular snare, so now I have an extra. So I went ahead and made the side snare over there. This is the ADE version here. And so let's come in and take a look at this. So what we've got is this, you know, it's like a DW, kind of a gold sparkle, kind of a, it's really kind of a champagne sparkle color. Um, so there's that. And then I got the three ply, three ply head on the top of it. Um, and also the little rubber rim that goes around it, uh, which I find amusing and uh, kind of funny that Mitch refers to that as a rim color. Just dropped the whole camera there. Um, so there's a side shot of the drum. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the bottom. Um, I might I might stick a, another head on there uh, or just find a way to get the rim you know, back on so I don't have this going on. Um, and then from my underside, you can see here's the, so this is the trigger bar assembly and the um, you know octacone, the wires that are coming off of that. I've actually got them twist tied here on the uh, on the side of the brace, and then um, rather than drill more holes in my drum, I actually made a little Velcro loop here um, to hold the uh, connector in place. So you can see I've got the wires coming off of there and onto the connector here, and then we've just got our uh, standard L L shaped cable on the side of it. So that's that's basically what the thing looks like uh, from the underside, from the top side. Of course, you can you can kind of see it if you look in there. Um, there's also a rim trigger um, that's sitting on that L bracket right there. Uh, so that is also in there, and that uh, connects into the original trigger. He uh, gave us the 
extra pieces to connect those together. So, and you can see that just mounts to, you know, the inside of one of these lugs right here. And that just mounts there like that with another L bracket. Um, so overall, very good experience. Um, it was a little bit more of a project than I was originally anticipating, uh, but fun nonetheless. And uh, so if you're, if you're looking to do an A to E conversion, you know, maybe you ought to look up UFO Drums and uh, check out their conversion kits. That's all. Thanks for watching.